on the 17th day of Advent, I found under the tree Eternal Darkness for the Nintendo GameCube. This game gets a lot of love every Halloween when people pull it out and go, yeah, do you remember when Nintendo went seriously dark? And they've never done a sequel, and they really, really need to. This game had so many brilliant ideas, it tried to creep you out psychologically. So imagine you're playing a video game, and halfway through the video game just suddenly starts to turn your TV volume down. There's actually, you know, the slider, the menu bar of the TV, it's go clearly going down, the volume's disappearing. You can't turn it back, you reach for TV remote, it doesn't go back up, what the hell is going on? This. There's so many applications where this idea, the game messing with you, could be replicated in the modern world these days, and I'd love to see what a seriously inventive team could do today. The game itself, it's pretty fun for the GameCube, it's an early game for the system, but it had a lot to offer.